Super Dave here with another review. Super Dave here with another exciting review and we are going to look at She-Ra, the most powerful woman in the universe, that's right. And it's the Filmation version by Super 7 and we're going to be looking at her and checking her out and comparing her to some other She-Ra figures. So let's first of all break open this box and check out the packaging. And you can see that she comes in this Club Grayskull packaging with Castle Grayskull wrapped around the side and the top there. And of course, just the He-Man and the Masters of the Universe logo on the back with Super 7. But then when you open the drawbridge, and it's a tight fit, there is the figure inside. There is She-Ra, the most powerful woman in the universe. <laughs> and of course, she draws her power from Castle Grayskull as well with the Sword of Power, and then she comes with some other cool accessories. So I want us to break her open out of the box here in just a moment. You've seen pretty much what's on the package except for this beautiful filmation style artwork on the back, which is what inspires all of these Club Grayskull, and that is the filmation cartoon. Beautiful artwork. Isn't that amazing? And you can see the tower behind her there. Just beautiful where uh, Light Hope dwells, I believe and uh, just really neat. Then there is the bio. If you'd like to read that, you can pause it and read that bio if you can. So let's go ahead and break her open and check out this action figure of She-Ra, the Club Grayskull Filmation version. And here's our set as we prepare to look at our She-Ra out of the package. And here she is. And we want to take a look at her and look at her accessories first of all. Of course, she comes with a really neat shield, which in the Netflix cartoon, and I believe in the original Filmation one as well, her sword was able to turn into various different devices to help her. But this shield was definitely one of the things that helped her. And this one is more in line with the Filmation version. It just looks more true to the uh, Filmation Accuracy Shield. And then, of course, her sword could turn into things like a boomerang. And uh, there was various things that you would see her uh, sword turning into, depending on what she needed. But this was one of the things that it did turn into. And, of course, all of them had that aqua teal uh, gemstone in the center, and that was a notable uh, trademark of the Sword of Protection, which is what hers was called of. Instead of the Sword of Power, hers was titled the Sword of Protection. And here it is, the Sword of Protection. And um, it was a little smaller and thinner than, of course, He-Man's sword, but still had that same in the filmation, same general shape. And so just really cool design. Now we'll say that these have a, almost a thin type gray plastic texture to them, almost like reminiscent of something that would be 3D printed at home. But uh, overall they have really nice quality. I think it's a really nice job that they did here with these and uh, just really, really neat. All right, so let's go ahead and look at articulation and we'll take our She-Ra off the stand here for a moment. And with the articulation, it's very limited. This head pretty much does not move at all. Uh, you can get a little bit of turning to the left and to the right, but uh, you're not going to be able to look up and down. There's no pivoting. There's not really much that can be done because of all this hair. But let's just take a look at the hair. It's really well done. This shading on the back is excellent. And then there's that almost bronze look to her tiara that she has on and then those side gauntlets that are on her arms there and of course the rest of her in the uh, texturing and the painting of that uh, blossom in the middle there with that again that 
turquoise aqua colored uh, green jewel that is representative of the crystal tower or crystal castle where Light Hope dwells. And so on her arms, she's able to go up better than 90 degrees. She has no bicep swivel. She has swivel in the shoulder there, but instead of a bicep swivel, she does have the ability to swivel at the elbow, and then you have swivel at the wrist and hinges there, so that's really nice. One of the things that I don't like is the fact that her arms will not stay to her side. You could, you know, see if you could get her arms like that, but they kind of stand out all the time like this. And then it makes these, uh, these joints here look awkward somewhat when you're trying to pose her. There's some gap up here at the shoulder. Overall, and I'm just going to say it, I, even though I think her face sculpt is really nice and it's pretty, I think it is still missing something. It's not quite the She-Ra of the Filmation. Uh, the Filmation She-Ra face was much prettier, but I do think that this is a fairly good representation of She-Ra, but I'm just not happy with the figure overall, and I'll tell you another reason why. But first, I'll go ahead and show you that there is a twist at the diaphragm. Instead of having the under the bosom like we had with the Katrina and the Tila figure, you just have a waist cut, which is very well hidden by this point here. So you see that she will turn. She's very tight, but she will turn that way. And of course, you have a soft rubber cape that's attached. And then uh, you can do splits all the way out because there is enough flexibility to this skirt and you do not have thigh swivel and that's another strike against this Shira's articulation. She really needed thigh swivel like the classics version had, but she does not, unfortunately. Neither does she have boot cut, so you cannot get her leg to turn in any way. Neither can you turn uh, the heel or the uh, high heel boot here at all except for maybe just a little bit because of the rocker joint that you do have because you do have the ability to go up and down and some excellent rocker joints there but are really point pointless because unless you could get that that uh he, that you know boot to, to turn or swivel or that even just the leg it's going to look odd when you try to give her a, a wider stance and then articulate that foot without being able to you see that it almost gives a bow-legged look instead of you know you would need to really be able to either swivel this boot cut or up here at the thigh cut which is absent in this figure so that's very disappointing it's almost a deal breaker for me because i am an I, i'm an articulation junkie and uh to me the classics is more beautiful now i do love the hair and the tiara it looks more filmation and just the overall body sculpt but it's just lacking in a lot of areas. Um, I like her her shading, her skin tone. She's not she doesn't have the shine problem like some of the Super Sevens had. Of course, she has single jointed knees, and so you know basic things, but just no thigh swivel, uh, no diaphragm joint, and uh, other than twisting, turning there, and just very limited head. Uh, motion so and then these weird elbows the way they look uh, you're gonna be able to shape them sometime to get them to have a better look to them but overall it's just not the best look for an action figure so let's do some comparison time and uh, take a look at this Shira against some of the other Shira action figures which the main one I have here which is the original Shira and the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and attach this She-Ra, our new She-Ra's accessories on her so we can compare them as well. And before we do that comparison, as I attach these accessories, I'll show you that that has a small handle on the back of the shield that slides right in to her hand sculpt there very nicely, if I can keep still long enough to get it in there. There we go. And so you're, you're going to be able to to pose her with her sword and with her shield. And so here's our classics She-Ra, the first release. You notice, notice that by the plain gauntlets and the plain boots. And she came with the gold sword with the turquoise 
translucent gem attached in there and then this bronze shield with that larger translucent gem as well and there was no uh, cut at the waist and there was no slits in the skirt and it was a very tight stiff plastic so she could not ride swift wind so of course many of you know they re-released a bubble she-ra that uh, had the split in the uh, the skirt as you see here on the side and uh, had some more design to the boots and to the gauntlet and this was kind of your ultimate she-ra if you will and I found this head this head was not the one that came with bubble she-ra this head is actually one that uh, I found on eBay a custom head that I just think is even more beautiful and I painted the tiara a more metallic gold and uh, just awesome and also put more muscular bicep arms attachments there in the middle from the WWE Caitlin figure uh, that you can find on eBay so and uh, but everything else other than the head and those arms is original and of course she has I've got her with the sword that came with the one that was packed in the either in the weapon pack or also packed in with the uh, uh, Toys R Us exclusive of She-Ra versus Supergirl and it was the silver sword which is more in line with the filmation as well so there's the three that I have uh, the three versions that I have and this is a custom head again but you can see and we'll get a little closer up here that um, their attachments and accessories are very different um, now because the bubble she did have the cut at the waist you can see the the uh, the bloom the little flowery bloom at the bottom here is cut off compared to the original classics it's more extended and even the Shira filmation club grayskull is more extended less you know uh, it's just looks more realistic that's the only downside of the fact that they cut into this waistline is they had to kind of stump off this this design but overall you see the comparisons but again the classics in my opinion wins out uh, I would put this one in third place the new Filmation Club Gray Skull one, I would put the original Classics one in second place, even in the beauty of the face and the articulation. But I would put the Bubble She-Ra as uh, in first place with uh, this, at least with this head that is a custom, of course, but even with this body, uh, with the addition of the arms that I did, but most importantly, the articulation. And another thing that I will mention that these classics had that our new she does not have is even though it has the boot cut right here, you can twist that boot, you also had thigh swivel. And that's just a very necessary thing, especially to help ride swift wind and then just get general poses with this particular action figure so there you have it and of course we're going to be doing some photos with our new Shira and uh, try her out on swift wind see how she'll look on there it's got some of her friends and some of the filmation Shira cast behind her there and then some others that I have that uh, I've added to this uh, particular set here but that's okay and we appreciate you checking it out again like subscribe share if you enjoyed this video and come back and see us next time next time with a very exciting review a super day fun review thank you for joining us check out these photos